Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can see and analyze the MuleSoft license your organization is entitled to. It is very common that executives who sponsor MuleSoft licenses don't often have the visibility that they need to calculate the return of investment accurately. Some of the problems they often face are the lack of visibility of the entitled MuleSoft resources, it is hard to forecast the usage of these resources in the future, and minimum visibility to failures and downtime or none at all, making it hard to calculate the business impact. The Datadog Mule integration offers an out-of-the-box dashboard with this kind of visibility. The cost optimization dashboard provides two important views to executives. A historical view of applications that have failed, as well as a top failed applications and service list. This helps to understand the historical downtime and measures how this impacts the business and an easy to understand visual representation of the resources entitled to the MuleSoft license. This visualization immediately gives hard numbers for the current date and also a timeline showing the usage patterns over time. This helps identify ups and downs in the usage of the resources. The cost optimization dashboard has different controls that allow you to configure this dashboard properly, such as the organization ID, production environment, design environment, sandbox environment, and organization name. These are all required to be configured previously to use this dashboard. This view also has a timeline that allows you to go back in time and analyze the historic information. The first group shows the applications and server fields in which stopped applications and servers are shown in a time series graphic for historical analysis showing how much time applications have been stopped. This also shows a list of the top 10 applications that have been stopped the most time. Next are the applications with errors in a time series graphic as well as the top 10 applications with error lists, if any. Below this group, there are a number of widgets with a common pattern, showing the used resources at the left and highlighted in green, the not used resources at the center and highlighted in red, and a time series graphic showing the historical usage pattern at the right. The layout first shows the V course by environment, production, sandbox, and design. For instance, know how the number of V cores in production have changed, assigning more V cores to this organization. This means that the engineering team is making use of the licensed MuleSoft products, a good sign of a return of investment. On the other hand, if the time series trend is decreasing, then it means that the resources have been decommissioned. Below this group, other resources are shown with a similar pattern, such as the VPNs, VPCs, static IPs, and load balancers, premium connectors, and object store operations in the MuleSoft license. Note that the entitlement of these resources is not associated to any environment. Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can monitor and gain visibility of the infrastructure that is running your Mule applications and servers. Operations teams are the ones in charge of keeping all IT infrastructure and operations in good health. They must know almost instantaneously when a application has failed or when a server or application has stopped working. The Datadog Mule integration offers a set of out-of-the-box monitors and a dashboard to help operations teams to quickly gain this kind of visibility in a single source of truth rather than navigating multiple pages. A set of monitors created when the Datadog Mule integration is configured for the first time. These monitors come with pre-configured thresholds and conditions for application stopped, running on-premises and in Cloud Hub, high memory and CPU consumption, application errors, overloaded VM queues and Cloud Hub applications, disconnected mute servers running on-premises. These monitors can be configured to send notifications to your team through email, Slack, PagerDuty, and other notification systems. The operations. The infrastructure dashboard has a set of controls at the top to allow you to organize the views per application, environment ID, target name, queue name for VM queues, and host. The timeline at the top helps you to historically visualize the patterns of the applications. The critical group shows all the applications and servers that have failed or errored. These widgets are fed using events produced by the monitors shown before. Stopped applications, stopped or disconnected servers, 
application with errors, and overloaded queues. Next is a CloudHub group that shows graphics about the applications running in CloudHub. Using the application and environment ID controls at the top, you can get a granular view to a single instance or environment. If filtering by the environment, the graphics will show aggregated averages of all applications running in such an environment. The metrics shown are consumed memory, CPU usage, network in and out, and messages queued and in flight in the application. The last group, the on-premise group, shows the same graphics as the Cloud Hub group except the messages queued and in flight. This group can be filtered out by the target name or host. Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can gain visibility to the available MuSoft resources in your organization. For operation teams, it is common that they must know how many resources they have available to support more applications, regardless of the environment. In the AnyPoint platform, there are two concepts with regarding resource allocation. Assigned means purchased or licensed resources that are usable by the current organization. Reassigned means resources allocated to a sub-organization. A sub-organization is an organization under a parent organization and can be a department, line of business, region, etc. The Datadog Mule integration offers an out-of-the-box dashboard with this kind of visibility. The Resources Allocation and Usage dashboard provides immediate insights about how the resources are allocated in the organization, as well as sub-organizations, and how many are still available to be used. This dashboard has controls to specify the organization ID, production environment, sandbox environment, and design environment. These must be properly set prior to usage. The organization, vCourse group, shows the vCourse assigned to the parent organization in production, sandbox, and design environments, and shows how many vCores are reassigned to its direct sub-organization, if any. For instance, the production environment has X vCores assigned, However, it has not reassigned vCores to any sub-organization. The same applies to Sandbox and Design in this dashboard. Below this group, you can find the usage of vCores per environment, Production, Sandbox, and Design. This helps operations to quickly know if there are any available vCores in the organization. The next widget is the vCores reassigned per sub-organization. In the AnyPoint platform, any sub-organization can have sub-organizations too. The next group of tables shows the used resources per environment in the current organization. These resources are VPNs, VPCs, load balancers, and static IPs. As this organization can also reassign resources to sub-organizations, these are shown in groups below. One group per resource, VPNs, VPCs, load balancers, static IPs, and object store. Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can identify problems and performance bottlenecks in Mule applications. It is common that integration solutions are blamed for poor performance, when in fact, the real bottleneck is one of the downstream systems. It is hard for developers to chase and identify this kind of problem because they occur under very specific environments, contexts, and situations. The development. Optimization's dashboard offers a single source of truth for developers allowing them to query for specific conditions in a given period of time. This has set controls at the top to allow you to organize the views per application, environment ID, target name, and host. The CloudHub group shows graphics about the applications running in CloudHub. Using the application and environment ID controls at the top, you can get a granular view in a single instance or environment. If filtering by the environment, the graphics will show aggregated averages of all applications running in such an environment. The metrics shown are memory consumed, CPU usage, network in and out, and messages queued and in flight in the application. For instance, the operations team has complained about a performance problem at a specific point in time using the timeline you can specify a time range looking for abnormalities or spikes, and you can even drill down to a specific time range by selecting the range in the graphics. 
This will synchronize all graphics in the dashboard to this time range. Right now, it's done at the Cloud Hub. However, this can be done in the on-premise group. This group shows the same graphics as the Cloud Hub group except for the messages queued and in-flight. This group can be filtered out by the target name and host 